indeed rejoice and be glad in it. We bless the Lord for uh, all who have joined us. Wow, okay. Good morning, Wale. Good morning, Tayo. Good morning, Tolu. Good to see you all. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining Command the Week. Um, this is a forum for those who are already very familiar with what we do. Um, this is a forum where we confess every week, Monday morning, 12 midnight, Eastern Standard Time, 5 a.m., British Standard Time and West African Time. And we rise in the morning according to the word of the Lord, declare what his promises are into the week. We believe very strongly. You can't hear me. Okay. Give me a second, Wally. Let me see if it's on my end. If there's anyone else on Instagram who can't hear me, let me know. Um, so I know if it's my if it's a problem on my end. So I'll know. Um, bear with me, everyone, as we sort of try and sort out anything technical. So the Bible says in Isaiah 55, 11, So shall my word be that goes out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. So we believe that God has given us his word in our mouth so that when we speak God's word in our mouth, it will go out and accomplish what that word is designed to accomplish. And we believe very strongly that the word of God is powerful, it's quick, it's sharper than a two-edged sword. And that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Command the week is wonderful because you hear God's word. You hear yourself repeat the word of God regularly, severally. And before you know it, you are able to, um, you build your faith even with that word that you hear. So we're super, super excited at what is going to happen today. The word of God for us today is authority, authority. And we are looking forward to speaking that word, declaring that word. We first of all start off by filling the earth with God's praises. We believe it's a privilege to be alive this morning, taking our 30 minutes to, to speak God's word into the week, every day as we go along, but to also spend about five, 10 minutes praising the name of the Lord, I think is a very powerful thing for us to do. So join me as we begin to speak um, from Psalm 147. Your voice is going to declare God's praise. Give us a few minutes. Let's do something spiritual this morning. Join us as we do that. The Bible says in Psalm 147, it says, praise the Lord. How good it is to sing praises to our God. Ooh, people are saying they can't hear me on Instagram. Um, give me one second. I don't know. I don't know why you can't hear me. Because on Instagram, you should be able to just hear me. Okay. Just give me a minute. Give me a minute. Uh, anybody else on Instagram that can't hear me? So I know if I should stop. Is um Shalewa, can you hear me? Lola, can you hear me? Those on Instagram. Send me a message if you can hear me. Sorry, everyone. Please give me a minute. If it's a problem, um, can I ask that if you can maybe pop into um the sound is okay. Okay. All right. It might just be from people's end. Thank you very much. I just needed to know so I can move on and continue properly. Okay. Okay. It is breaking. Okay. Okay. Instagram, give us a minute. Let's see what we can do to fix that. God will help us fix it this morning. Okay. All right. Psalm 147 says, praise the Lord. How good it is to sing praises to our God. How pleasant and fitting. It is to praise him. Thanks, Wally. Okay, so you can hear us now. Thank you. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. So let's say to yourself, the Lord builds up Adenike. Call your name. The Lord builds up Adetayo. The Lord builds up Chichi. Begin to declare the words and the praises of God. He gathers the exiles of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up their wounds. He determines the number of the stars and calls them each by name. Great is the Lord and mighty in power. Great is the Lord and mighty in power. Yes. Amen. 
the Lord determines the number of stars and calls them by name. Great is the Lord and mighty in power. His understanding has no limit. The Lord sustains the humble, but casts the wicked to the ground. This week, the Lord will sustain you. This week, the Lord will help you. This week, the Lord will send you help. All that pertains to life and godliness, the Lord will cause you to receive this week in the name of Jesus. Sing to the Lord. Okay. Sing to the Lord with grateful praise and make music to our God on the harp. He covers the sky with clouds. He supplies the earth with rain. He makes grass to grow on hills. Today, the Lord will cause great things to happen in our lives. This week, the Lord will cause good things to happen in our lives. The rest of this year, the Lord will cause beautiful things to happen in our lives. He provides food for the cattle and for the young ravens when they call. I don't know what need you have this week. I don't know what it is. You might be trying to even add a couple of things together to meet your mortgage requirement, to meet your rent requirement. The Bible says the Lord will provide your sustenance. That when the young ravens call, the Lord answers. I speak for that. When you call, the Lord will answer you speedily in the name of Jesus. I see help coming to somebody this week in the mighty name of Jesus. The word says his pleasure is not in the strength of the horse, nor his delight in the legs of the warrior. The Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their hope in his unfailing love. Extol the Lord, Jerusalem. Extol the Lord, Adenike. Extol the Lord, Esther's preparation room. Praise your God of Zion. He strengthens the bars of your gates. Wow. What a wonderful promise. Thank you, Jesus. He's one that will strengthen the bars of your gate. The bars of your gate represent your weak. He strengthens your weak. The bars of your gate, there are different gates that we have. We have the eye gate. We have the mouth gate. We have the ear gate. We have the different gates that we explore, that we go into the world with. We have the gates of enterprise. We have the gates of commerce. We have the gates of industry. The Bible says that God will strengthen your gates this week. For anyone, I don't know again as I speak, for anyone this week, believing God for open doors in the area of your job, you will be called this week. This month of August is your month in the name of Jesus. Because you have risen up this morning on the Command the Week platform, the Lord will open great doors for you. As you speak into this week, this month, and the rest of the year, you will see great and precious promises coming to you. You will experience promotion. The Bible says the Lord blesses, the Bible says the Lord blesses your people within you, your family, your loved ones, your parents, your siblings, because you are here this morning, as you speak and declare the word, the Lord will bless your people and your family within you. It says, he grants peace to your borders and satisfies you with the finest of wheat. We're still in thanksgiving mode. He sends his command to the earth. His word runs swiftly. He sends his command to the earth. His word runs swiftly. Psalm 147 verse 15. God sends his commands to the earth. The Bible says his words run swiftly. That is why you are here. And I'm going to add this scripture to our anchor verse in the mornings. This morning, like your father, you've also risen up. The words that God has sent to the earth, you're going to pick it up and confess it into your life. Those words will run swiftly for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Wonderful. Command the week this morning is authority. Authority. Don't forget, we declare every week. We speak every week. It doesn't mean the words from last week have finished. Those words are already there in existence. They continue to work. The words that we're speaking, we're speaking to our lives. We're speaking to our destiny. We're speaking to our generations to come. So as I speak, our custom, because I do see a few new people here today, as is our custom, when we speak the word, um, our sisters would normally, some will help us put the scriptures up um, to help us, and then we'll repeat it. So I speak it and you repeat it, but you just don't repeat what I say. You repeat as many things as apply to it. You declare it where we have a name. You put your name where your name is relevant. Call your name, call your family, call whoever you need to call. That's how we do it. So let's start to command and speak God's word. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4. Because the king's word has authority, no one can say to him, what are you doing? 
because the king's word has authority, no one can say to him, what are you doing? This morning, I declare that I am a child of God. I am a child of the king. My words carry authority. As I go about my business this week, I declare that my words will carry authority. I have become an expert in my field. My counsel, choices, and decisions are filled with wisdom, authority, and power. Wisdom, authority, and power. Proverbs 29 verse 2. Proverbs 29 verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked rule, the people mourn. This week, I take authority over every evil rule. I am a custodian of the earth. The Bible says, be fruitful, multiply, have dominion. Today, I speak from my platform of dominion and authority. And I speak forth that every evil rule, every evil decision against me, against my business, against my family, against the church, against my nation, today I cancel it. The hand of the wicked shall not rest against me. The hand of the wicked shall not rest against my loved ones. I declare that my actions and decisions this week will bring joy and delight to those around me. My actions and my decisions this week will bring joy and delight to those around me. Mark chapter 1 verse 22. Mark chapter 1 verse 22. And they were astonished at his doctrine. For he taught them as one that had authority and not as the scribes. He taught them as one that has authority. I speak forth. The potent power of God dwells inside of me. The potent power of God that dwells inside of me enables me to operate and perform in exceptional ways this week beyond those that are around me. I am able to process and solve things as a specialist this week in the name of Jesus. I have authority in my field. I have authority in my area of influence. Matthew 18, 18. Matthew 18, 18. Declare your powerful words for the week. Truly I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. This week, what are you going to bind? The power of life and death is your mouth. This week, get your week ready. If the enemy has planned anything to hinder you, God says, whatever you bind on the earth, this hour, for this week and beyond, so shall it be. So join me by saying, I lose, I declare favor, peace, power, mercy, grace, love, prosperity, healing. I lose it upon my life. I release it upon my family. I release it upon my household. This week and this month and beyond in Jesus' name. I bind misfortune. I bind calamity. I bind shame. I bind pain. I bind embarrassment. I cast it away from my life and from my family in the name of Jesus. I release God's power. I release strength. I release ability upon my life in the name of Jesus. 1 John 4.4 4. 1 John 4.4 4. He says, you are from God, little children, and you have defeated those people because the one who is in you is greater than the world, one who is in the world. As we go out into this week, we go out with the authority as we, the children of God and we declare, I am above every scheme. I am above every plotting. I am above every machinations of the adversary and those that connive against me because the greater one lives inside of me, I am more than a conqueror because the greater one lives inside of me this week, I am more than victorious. 
everyone that gathers together against me, against the cause of the Lord that I carry. The Lord will give me victory over them in the name of Jesus. Every plan of the enemy against me falls flat today in Jesus' name. Every plan of the enemy against me falls flat this week in Jesus' name. Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, govern it, reign over the fish in the sea. I love this version. The birds in the sky and all the animals that scurry along the ground. God says, reign over them. Reign over them. So I begin to speak for, I have the authority. I have the authority to function and operate with an attitude of productivity, fruitfulness, and effectiveness. I refuse procrastination this week. I refuse negligence. I refuse laziness. I refuse indolence. I speak over myself. This week is an amazing, powerful, productive week. The things that are pertaining to my assignment, I achieve them this week. I declare that I am filled with excellence, brilliance. I am prolific in my business, my career, my area of specialty, in my ministry, in all that pertains to me. I stand out. The resources that I have this week will increase in value. It will not decrease. I am creative in the name of Jesus. Matthew 10, 1. Matthew 10, 1. And he called to him his 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out, to heal every disease and every affliction. I have the authority to solve any problem that comes my way this week in the name of Jesus. I have the authority to solve every problem that comes my way this week in the name of Jesus. Long-standing spiritual, mental, emotional, physical issues, negative circumstances, and adversities are resolved today in the name of Jesus. I declare victory over sickness, over virus, over infirmity, and every other situation in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 1843. Psalm 1843, you gave me victory over my accusers. You appointed me ruler over nations. People I don't even know will now serve me. This is a powerful scripture. God is saying, I have given you authority on this earth. This week, I loudly proclaim, I will triumph over every accuser that seeks to fault find or embarrass me. Anything the enemy wants to use to shame me this week, I cancel it, I nullify it in the name of Jesus. I will be seen as an example of excellence and capability. My light will shine this week. I will be seen as one who has authority on this earth. I bring solution this week to all everything I come towards. Because God has appointed me as a ruler over the nations, I enter into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday of every week as one that has authority. I carry the scepter of righteousness. I carry the scepter of the word of God, the scepter of power the scepter of authority, and everyone, both in the heavens, on the earth, and underneath the earth, will recognize that the Lord is operating in me and through me. I will be highly esteemed amongst those that I've been called to be with. I will be highly esteemed by my colleagues. I will be highly esteemed by people that don't even know me. I will not be ashamed. I will be respected and valued because I carry the mandate of God. That is who we are. It's important for us to understand who we are. It's important for us to understand how God sees us. 
It's important to understand, everyone, that as you go into this week and you run your business, God sees you as his delegate on the earth. And whatever the delegate of God, of the children of God need, heaven provides. Heaven provides. So when we understand the authority we have to reign on this earth as the children of God, as kings and queens on this earth, according to the word of God, then you understand the Bible says where the voice of the king is, there is power. Where the voice of the king is, there's authority. This morning, I want to encourage you. We're about to go into the next level in another 15, 20 minutes. I'm going to declare more words. But I want you to understand, thank you for those who have stumbled upon this midnight hour on Facebook. This is what we do. This is what we do in Esther's preparation room. We must know our position. We know who God has called us to be. We know our platform. God does not want us to be intimidated. Was there any situation that God, Jesus, flustered? Was there anything that happened each day that Jesus said, ah, whoa, 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 whoa. This is shocking. I'm confused. I don't know what to do. No. Any situation that tried to bewilder Jesus, he went quiet. He would just ask heaven, what are we to do? He understood the power of his words. He knew that even if he didn't know what to do, he would begin to speak life and the words would come. That is how we must operate. That is what we are doing when we are commanding the weak and commanding authority. So I don't know why I felt some of us, our voices were a bit low in the spirit. I want your voice to be sharp, women of God. Ladies on Zoom, I want your voices to be powerful. Second Corinthians 4, 7, you must believe what you are saying. You are the light of the world. The authority and the power of God is in your mouth. You are God's reigning monarch on this earth. When the queen of England declares a word, it is, yes, your majesty. To the physical principalities and powers, they all must comply. You have a greater platform than even the queen because you speak on the platform and as a monarch of the spirit. The Lord has given you access to the spiritual elements where before anything happens in the physical, you can speak and the principalities and the power must carry it forth. The Bible says that the sons and the daughters of God, they are ministering spirits. They speak the word and God sends his angels as ministering spirits to carry it out. You carry fire. So we speak with a flame of fire. I felt strongly. The Lord was saying that take this word seriously. I don't know who it's for. Your breakthrough that's coming, take this word seriously and begin to speak. Give the earth, impregnate your earth, impregnate your earth so it can bring forth in due season. Second Corinthians 4, 7. But Peter said, I have no silver and gold. Whoa. But what I have, I give to you. What do you have? That's what we're saying. You've got authority. Peter said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Therefore I say, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I will do signs. I will perform wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I have a kingdom mandate and an authority to manifest God's will on earth as it is in heaven. My mandate is more precious than silver or gold. My mandate is more precious than my role, my career, my position, my title in the physical. My mandate is more precious because my mandate is the mandate of Jesus Christ. Therefore, I speak to this week that as I go about all my enterprise, my people, and my business, people I meet will be empowered and motivated because of me. Things they could not do previously because I engage them because they encounter me. They will be able to do it in Jesus' name. I am a working solution. I am a working solution to people's problems and challenges. John chapter 1 verse 12. John chapter 1 verse 12. But to all who believe and accepted him, he gave them the right, the authority to walk and to speak as the children of God. Because I am a child of God, I have access to the resources of my heavenly father. Every blessing I need to succeed this week, God has given to me. I have all I need, all that pertains to life and godliness. I will bring people to Christ. I am a soul winner. All that I need this week, heaven has provided to me. When Jesus needed to pay taxes, he told Peter with the voice of authority, go and catch a fish, go fishing. There is a fish with a coin in its mouth. You will catch the fish and you will take the coin out of the fish. You will pay the taxes. 
no matter the financial issue that came up, Jesus spoke solution. The fish may have caught the coin in the past. It may not even have existed. As soon as Jesus gave the word, it happened. Speak of everything that is required this week and your authority will bring it to pass in Christ Jesus. Joshua 1, 3. Joshua 1, 3. I promise you what I promised Moses. Wherever you set your foot, you will be on the land I have given you. Wherever you go this week in terms of possessing your possessions, God says that is your land. Therefore, I declare every endeavor and every venture that I embark upon this week, I step into new markets. I enter into new opportunities. I receive new breakthroughs. My products will be known far and wide in Jesus' name. My service offering will be found and heard of far and wide in the name of Jesus. I will prosper in the land God has placed me in. I will prosper in the land God has placed me in. My prosperity is not because of the government of the land. My prosperity is not because of the geographic location on the globe of the land. My prosperity is from the word of God. Every land I step into, I possess it in Jesus' name. 1 Peter 2.15 1 Peter 2.15 He sends out his command to the earth. His words run swiftly. Let's repeat it again. The word of God is within me and it profits me. Profits me. I boldly declare that the power of God rests upon me and I will manifest great things. This week, as I apply myself to the word, I speak that the Spirit of God activates those words and they come alive and they manifest and they come to pass. I will experience the words that I speak and declare. The words I have spoken this morning will become flesh in the name of Jesus. Luke 10, 19. Luke 10, 19. Remember, behold, I have given you authority to thread upon viruses to thread upon serpents, to thread upon scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing will injure you. I declare that I am healed. I declare that I am delivered. I declare that I am a healer of lives and of destinies in the name of Jesus. 2 Corinthians 10, 8. 2 Corinthians 10, 8. I may seem to be boasting too much, about the authority given to us by the Lord. But our authority builds you up. It doesn't tear you down. So I will not be ashamed of using my authority. Can you imagine? 2 Corinthians 10, 8. Begin to say, I will not be ashamed of using my authority. I have an authority in Christ Jesus. I declare that I have been given authority over this earth. Everyone I meet and interact with, will be edified this week. They will be improved this week. Their lives will be better this week. I will not be ashamed of my authority. I will boldly speak as the oracle of God. I will not be ashamed of the mandate I have. This week, I will boldly speak and declare as the oracle of God. I feel strongly in my heart that, and please testify to this word. If you, are, you may not be hearing it right now, you may be listening to this later. But God says he's going to use you to bring healing to someone on your job this week. It could be somebody in authority, somebody that will be calling out sick, somebody that when you speak to them, God says, just speak the words of life and put a time to it. Say it boldly, do not be ashamed. Say, I'm sorry to hear you're not feeling well. Wow, that's unfortunate. You know what? Let me speak a blessing over you. Within the next 48 hours, every form of sickness, anything that is bothering you, within the next 24 hours, whatever it is the Lord lays upon your heart, I'm just saying, declare it over to them. God says, do not be ashamed of the authority you have. When people speak, speak around you that they are weak, that they are sick, that they are confused, that they are down, they don't have to be Christians. You speak the word. You declare it. God says that I put authority in your mouth. That's why people will be following up with you, checking you out. Because when you speak, you speak life to them. 
Finally, Revelations chapter 2, verse 26. Revelations chapter 2, verse 26. To all who are victorious, who obey me to the very end, to them I give authority over all the nations. To all who are victorious, who obey me to the very end, to them I will give authority over the nations. This is a powerful scripture. Jesus is saying here that beyond this earth, you are going to rule nations in the new earth. In the new earth. This earth we are in is temporary. If you've lost a loved one, it's painful, it's difficult. But God is telling you today, this earth that we are in is temporary. The nations that you and I will rule over, because we're going to be victorious this week, because we're going to be victorious this month, because we're going to win this week, because we're going to serve God with our lives. God says, you are every day that you are living. I'm increasing the nations. Your authority in the new earth is being secure. Can you imagine that? So we don't enter into this week casually. We don't operate in August casually. We don't operate in 2020 and beyond casually. Because God says, let me let you know, that you just stay to the very end. You just stand. Don't give up. Stand with everything you have. Go into this new week. Don't be discouraged. God is on the throne. Your father loves you. He will keep you. God says there is an authority beyond this earth. And that's a promise you need to hear. So let's begin to say, Father, I thank you that I have victory in Christ. And I have authority in Christ because I'm obedient to the Lord. Not just on this earth, but in the worlds to come. I receive dynamic empowerment today from the Lord in the name of Jesus. I receive dynamic empower, empowerment to press, to go forward, to push, to do more. My authority, my influence, my impact will be felt by all who are around me today and beyond in Jesus' name. My authority, my influence, my impact will be felt by all those who are around me going forward in the name of Jesus. And finally, we declare together, I have made my confession by testifying of what the blood has done. Therefore, my confession becomes flesh and manifest in my life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everyone, for joining Esther's Preparation Room Command the Week on this platform. I thank you for being a part of it. Thank you. Loads of women, wow, connected with us on Zoom this morning on Facebook and on Instagram. God bless you. Have a victorious week. I want you to realize you are leaving this platform with your scepter of righteousness and of authority renewed. Do not be intimidated. Know who you are this week. Speak to every situation that wants to intimidate you. Speak as a reigning monarch because that is who you are. Kings, before the Lord. Go out and reign. Go out and rule. Go out and have dominion. You can follow Esther's preparation room. Please see a lot of the prayers, a lot of the confessions, a lot of the words that we speak. You don't have to wait. During the day, just plug it in the background as you are working. Go and look at all the different confessions we have. Any challenge or difficulty you're facing, health-wise, career-wise, financial-wise, we have confessions that you can make. Go on our platform, subscribe, follow us on our social media platform and be a part of what God is doing. We will connect again um, on Saturday, this Saturday, when we have what we call the call. That is where we pray together. The information is on Zoom and we stand in the gap for nations as intercessors for the kingdom. And also this week, we're excited for our um, women's network. As you know, this is a professional platform um, of women, primarily. Thank you, Wally, for joining us today. Um, but please feel free to join us. Send it to as many people as possible. How do you refine your brand? We're entering into a season where promotion has come. What is your brand like online, offline? How do you show up? God is about to cause you to enter into your place of authority. Show up powerfully. Show up significantly. Refine your brand. It's taking place this Saturday. Go on our, um, on our social media pages for more information. Thank you, sisters. The time you spent this morning is not wasted. The Lord will honor you and hear you in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a victorious week. Have a wonderful week. 
God bless you, everyone. Thank you for joining again. God bless.